morning everybody welcome back today I thought we would make some of these little um, tag embellishments for our journals uh, just again been going through and realized I've got a lot of off cuts that I've needed to um, use to cut out some little tags and I just thought well it's a great time to try to use up some of my fabrics uh, scraps, which I'm getting a huge pile of those as well. So I played around and I thought these were really, really sweet um, to add as little. You could add these onto a tab within the journal or, you know, at the bottom of a pocket. Well, you know. So uh, what I wanted to share today, I am doing a design team project for Chapter 1 Papers on Etsy. And this is the Embroidery Fussy Cut. I absolutely love this kit. I picked this up <clears throat> before um, I even, you know, was approached by them uh, because I fell in love with this. I, I just love anything embroidery. And this is probably one of the nicest, well, it is the nicest kit I've seen using the embroidery work. I know a lot of people are scanning them and selling them as digitals, but these, the clarity on these are outstanding, which is why I went ahead and purchased them. So let's just jump in. I've got this kit, and then I also wanted to share with you, um, I had spoken in a previous video about the little postcards that they, that Chapter 1 does as well. Again, this is a kit that I purchased. Um, I fell in love with it. I just can't seem to get enough of these little posted images. And in the past, I've done faux postage stamps. But when I saw these, I just thought they were so beautiful. I had to have them. So today, I thought it would be fun. As you can see, I've, I've incorporated both of these kits. Um, here, it's using the little postage stamp. And then here is one of the little fussy cut embroidery pieces and aren't they just beautiful great way to use up our stash so let's just jump in uh, okay so the first thing is cut you some small tags um, I tend to save all of my off cuts from when I print out journal mm. this isn't a great example because this company they tend to use most of their papers, which is outstanding. But I have had kits in the past where you've got quite a lot of your cardstock left over. And what I do with those is just throw them into a drawer. And then I take a day and just cut out uh, shapes with them. So that's, that's like a whole separate day that I do those kind of things. So... Um, just decide whatever shape you want to use. This is about, um, let me see, gosh, where's my ruler? Where's my ruler? This little tag is only about two and a half inches, but it's a good size for this because I don't want to work with anything too large. And then I've got this postage stamp and this is Stampendous and I know somebody's going to ask about it. This was purchased at Hobby Lobby so there is the the number and the name of the company. I don't know if it's still available or not but I love this stamp. So just to give some interest on the background I may as well just go ahead and make up several of these at one time. So I've just got a little bit of the script going on in the background. Okay, the next thing, let's just decide. <clears throat> I've got five here, so. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm going to see. I think if I cut that down, I can get that to fit on there. It might, it might hang over slightly. If it's too much, I'll just move it onto a larger tag. So, yes, you're going to have to sit here and watch me fussy cut. How boring is that? <laughs> but uh, I should have had this done ahead of time, but I'm just not that organized, as you know. So I hope everybody is having a good week so far. Um, knock on wood. So far, I've got no complaints. Just taking it, things a day at a time and, um, you know, just trying to focus on the positive because there's a lot of positive things to, um, to stay grateful for. Okay, nearly got this one done. This one took a little bit longer because of the, the shape of it, but I just love these designs. Yeah, that's fine. It, it's going to hang over just a little bit, but not, not enough to bother me, so I love that. Absolutely love those. I think these would be beautiful for a little um, sewing themed journal, which I am going to be doing very soon. I know I've got a couple of you that are waiting for me to do a repeat. Um, I just, you know, have been working on some other journals trying to get those completed, but I intend to revisit the sewing themed very soon and won't these just be beautiful in in one of those journals. Let me move this up a bit. Mm. And then my thinking on the postage stamp, those could go either um, shabby chic or nature. I mean these could go nature as well with the floral. Um, oh gosh, I just think those are the sweetest images. I'll get another one of these cut out and then I'll get a couple of the postage ones done as well. Okay, put that one there, and then I'll get a couple of the little postage ones on those.
Okay, let me just ink these up a little bit around the edges. I should have did that first, but forgot it. I won't lie, I forgot it until the end, but at least we caught it. Okay, there we go. Now, I've got a couple of safety pins there, and now we'll just add um, a little bit of fabric. And I think for the nature one, I've got some of the scrap material. Just take a little strip of that. Is there anything nicer than ripping fabric? <laughs> oh, somebody was talking about that on Facebook the other day, and I don't think there is. No, there's something about um, ripping it that's just very satisfying. That's probably a very strange thing to say, but... <laughs> But then again, it, it, it must not be too strange because everybody was in agreement that they loved doing it. So, <laughs> so I'm not alone in that. So the other thing I want to do is add a tiny tag. So let me just grab a couple of little ones here that I can uh, add to these. I'm trying to get everything ready for a car boot yard sale. <laughs> and uh, one of the containers that I had been using to hold my all my tiny embellishments, I um, decided to get rid of them because they're, they're plastic, they're pretty horrible. And so I've dumped everything into one basket, which was a major no-no. I shouldn't have done that. I knew better, but I still did it. But yeah, I'm really regretting having done that because now I can't find anything. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> I could never find anything. Okay, so I picked this up years ago from Hobby Lobby. And I think I'll just use one of these because they're tiny enough. I've also got some of the paper tray ink. But I just can't be bothered to go dig those out right now. So... And sometimes it's nice to use some different ones. These are in more of like a um, typewriter font. Uh-oh. Sorry. One second, guys. So sorry about that, guys. Paul is not here today to answer the door. So anyways. Okay, so I... Got a little bit of lace. This just trim that, that goes into the, another drawer. <laughs> another drawer full of stuff. And uh, I've actually decided this on this particular one, I'm not going to add the tiny tag. I don't know. I just, I'm not feeling it with that. I feel like it's just too, I think it might be the shape of it I'm not really liking. So that one I'm just going to leave as it is because it's going to be in a nature one anyways. I'm actually happy with that. Uh, this one, let me just add a little bit of ink to that. I'm not going to put anything on this one. I'm just going to leave it as the heart shape. Let me see. I need a bit of fabric for that one. Again, I am just pulling things from my scraps, guys, um, because it's just getting 
to be too many scraps hanging around and this is another little bit of scrap that I had so I am going to just pin those together there. Okay, there we go. Now just finish up these others here really quick. You can see how it's all coming. And there is something rewarding about using up our scrap pile. It just you feel so satisfied that you were able to dwindle it down. Okay, let me get a little more fabric behind those. These were <clears throat> some of the leftover scraps from, oh that's going to be pretty with that one, from the um, scrappy covers tutorial I did. I think I'm just going to take a couple of pieces with that one, that'll be pretty. And that needs a little bit of pink, I think. Yeah, I like that. And then let me see if I can add that or not. That might just be too much again. I'll tell you what I'll do on this one. Let me just cut out a tiny flower. Flower. Um, I'm just trying to think. Let me just get a tiny bit of scrap here. Let me see what I can find. Because I don't want it to just be white. <clears throat> but I don't think I want to use cardstock either. Okay, that's looking better there. It just needed, I think it needed something else. Oh, these safety pins 
Oh, they just, they bend. <laughs> They're so terrible. <laughs> oh, not like they used to be. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that one. That's kind of really sweet. Okay, let's just get on. I'm taking too long. I actually think I'm going to leave this one plain. I'm just going to ink it up a little bit. I'm just going to add that one to that. I don't know. This one, to me, has a more of a rustic feel. But you know what? I'm going to put just a little bit of lace behind that. Yeah, I like that. I think that's that's kind of sweet too. Okay, so that we just got this last one, and then we are done, guys. Um, let's see. I don't want a lot of color on that one. Some of the Tim Holtz paper, uh, fabric I got left over. Maybe just a little bit on that. Okay, let me see how I like that. Yeah, I'll just stick with that one. I think that's, um, that one's fine. And let me see if I've got, <coughs> excuse me, a small enough button. No, that won't work on this. If I use a bulb pin, I can. Let me change to a bulb pin just for this one. I was trying to use up these little safety pins, but I think it might be, um, nice just to mix it up a little bit and add. Yeah, I don't like that. I think it's the combination of the word and that circle. I don't like that one at all. Uh, really small one there. Oh, isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I love buttons so much. I just, I just love them. Look at that. He's so, that was such a sweet one. It's just so tiny. Okay. I think that's Yes, that button is adorable. Okay, guys. That's my Create With Me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed that. And it's given you some, some more ideas on how to use up all these scraps that we just keep accumulating. <laughs> the more we create, the more we make these... Um, you know, off cuts. So 
Hopefully you've enjoyed that. I'll zoom in so you can see how those came out in the end. I love those. Very sweet. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Take care and I'll be back soon. Bye.